Hi, I'm Thomas from Purple World Productions. Welcome to the film and video segment of the How To DIY channel. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to shoot your own DIY video. There are three main steps we need to incorporate in this. The first is presentation, second is image, and third is sound. So let's get started with presentation. I'm sure you've heard the common phrase before, not to judge a book by its cover. But when it comes to film and presenting, People do judge a book by its cover. How you present yourself, the way you look, the way you speak, the eye contact you give to the camera is absolutely crucial. People are less interested today in what you have to say and more so interested in how you're presenting yourself. If you look reliable, if you look trustworthy, people are going to listen to you. So remember, presentation is more important than the actual content to begin with. Presentation drives the content. When it comes to presenting, make sure that you do not speak for copious amounts of time. Keep it simple, to the point, no more than two minutes of information. Don't drown people with information, keep it really basic. The second point is image, and with image I'm referring to the camera. There are a few simple things you need to keep in mind. First of all is camera stability. The easiest way to do this is with a simple tripod. If you don't have a tripod, you can stack it up on a collection of books, or have someone else hold it steadily for you. But remember, your hands tend to shake and therefore the camera moves also. You also want to make sure that you have enough adequate lighting when filming the subject. In order to do this, you need to have either artificial lighting, so indoor lighting with professional lighting equipment, but obviously a lot of people don't have this. So to make it easier for yourself, shoot outdoors with a lot of natural lighting. The sun is the cheapest, easiest way to light any subject. But remember, do not shoot directly into the sunlight as shadows will be cast on the subject's face and this will look terrible. And finally, the quality of the image says everything about the shoot. So shooting on your phone is no longer viable. You need to be using higher end equipment. Now, a cheap, fully high definition camera only costs a few hundred dollars throughout all department stores. High definition means it can be shot in either 720p or 1080p. Our third and final point relates to sound. Sound is so important today. In fact, a lot of people argue it's more important than the image. To be able to hear yourself clearly, pronunciating is very, very important. Not only that, you need to make sure that you're not filming anywhere where there is a lot of background noise. That means filming in open spaces, public spaces, where there can potentially be a lot of buzzing, people speaking, phones going off, that sort of thing. So eliminate that by just choosing quiet locations that also don't have room for potential noise, such as open walkways, doorways, that sort of thing. So to recap, the three main things we need to keep in mind are presentation, so how you pre present yourself, keeping it simple and to the point, the image that you use, so the quality of the camera, the lighting, the way that the camera is held and stabilized with a tripod, and finally sound by not shooting in noisy locations and turning off appliances that don't need to be left on because this can distract the viewer. I'm Thomas from Purple World Productions. Thanks for watching the film and video segment of How To DIY TV.